Good afternoon and welcome to the News at Four. After the Paris terror attack, President François Hollande addressed rare joint session of both houses of the French Parliament yesterday at the Palace of Versailles. The French President announced a constitutional amendment to strengthen the war against terrorism. Geraldine reports. While the world mourns France dead after the Paris terror attack, François Hollande vowed to destroy ISIS in the Palace of Versailles yesterday. François Hollande warned that if Europe did not control its external borders, there could be a return to nationalism and even the dismantling of the European Union. Mr. Holland's announcement came as it was confirmed that the passport of one of the three suicide bombers at the Stade de France belonged to a fake Syrian refugee. Mr. Holland said he will triple the airstrike capacity over Syria and Iraq. <laughs> Reporters Enrico and Sisi talked with the spokesperson in Birmingham of Islam Against Extremism, an association devoted to promoting good information on the Muslim faith. For religious reasons, his face would not be shown in this clip. It's kind of a double-edged sword for us in, in relation to what we do here. Um, in one hand, people get angry um, and they do tarnish Muslims with the same brush or they think that all Muslims are terrorists. But on another hand, it opens the door of dialogue. So people do come and ask, why are they doing this? What is your opinion on it? Now, the media does play a part and I believe that the media has a lot to do with how people view Islam or any other religion for that matter, um, but especially now in our time, Islam. People ask what can we do? Should we go and fight them physically? No. We fight them with knowledge, we educate ourselves, educate the non-Muslims as well as the Muslims and let them know what the correct understanding of Islam is. This is why it's important that we're here. We have to be here because if there isn't people here advising people, it's only going to get worse. The Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi visited the UK last week. David Cameron gave him a warm welcome. Nilesh Patel has more on this story. There are over 1.4 million people of Indian ethnic origin living in the UK. During his visit, Modi paid tribute to Gandhi's statue, had lunch with the Queen and signed business deals worth £10 billion. He is also the first Indian Prime Minister to speak at British Parliament. On Friday evening, he addressed a crowd of 60,000 British Indians at Wembley Stadium, where Cameron described the relationship between India and UK as a winning combination. Diwali is alive. I'm very happy to be here. The community spirit is great, and Modi is such a true leader. Um, Modi's visit was really beneficial for international students like me. Um, he discussed about reducing visa fees and also introducing post-study work visas. A group of Birmingham students have produced a cutting-edge documentary about anxiety. The documentary aims to tackle the stigma surrounding the mental illness. We are joined here in the studio by Daniel Laney, director of the documentary. So thank you for joining us today, Dan. So recent data has shown male suicide rates in mental health to be on the rise. Is this something that the documentary is linked to? Um, yeah, I think it's definitely linked to it. Um, suicide rates have risen by 73% since 2006, um, which I think is shocking. And um, I think more needs to be done. Um, to prevent this and more people need to be aware of what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's kind of the main message our documentary is trying to get across. So is that, is that why you chose mental uh, health as, as the subject matter? Because to, to raise awareness? Um, yeah, I think there was um, very little communication about ed and education about mental health. Um, so many people are unaware of what's like going on and people who have themselves don't really know what's going on with it. Um, and I think it's something that needs to be discussed more like in schools and colleges. Uh, um, it's incredibly important to raise awareness about it. Mm -hmm. So thank you for joining us in the studio, Danny. Thank you. On Thursday, the Queen, joined by the Duke of Edinburgh, will visit Birmingham. It's been three years since her last visit in 2012. The Queen is going to attend a ceremony to officially reopen Birmingham New Street Station. She will also visit the Grand Central Shopping Centre, Birmingham Dunnell Hospital and the School of Dentistry. Our correspondent sent back the report from New Street Station. I'm outside a New Street Station while the Queen will be visiting on Thursday. Now let's go inside and find out what Romans think of Her Majesty's visit. It's the Queen's visit here? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't realise. Yeah, it'd be great. Because it's something new and marvellous, isn't it, for them to see? She's always welcome. 
Well, personally, I have no expectations, but yeah, it's quite good that she's coming to the event. So. Um, neutral, because I'm not going to be here. Yeah. Hey, I'd be glad, you know, to come here. Oh, I think she's marvellous, really. I think she is absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Rather ambivalent, really. And, well, that'll be demonstrated. I won't be interested, obviously. It's, I don't want to be in the crowd staring at getting a glimpse of the Queen as she goes by, but 